Can you move it more over here? Oh. No? I think we're live. Oh. We're live? I don't know. Yeah, we are live. <laughs> I think we are live. <laughs> hello, and welcome to... I thought this was my coffee. That scared me. Uh, hello, and welcome to Fresh Cap Friday. Welcome. Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Yes. And ready for an awesome weekend. Um, it is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. That's true. Yep. Long weekend. So, Long weekend. Happy Thanksgiving to all our fellow Canadians. Yes. So, yeah. Anyways, if you're if you're watching on Facebook, uh, well, that's what you're watching because this is the only place we're doing this live right now. We're trying a new setup, so uh, we got some other cool stuff going on, and we wanted to uh, show you, be able to show you pictures, and be able to show you a few different things. So, uh, here we are, Fresh Cap Friday Live for October tenth, twenty nineteen. So, I think we should start. Every single week we do a giveaway. Yes. Um, and this giveaway is Turkey Tail. Turkey Tail. Shield yeah. Turkey Tail. So who's our lucky winner? The winner is Rob from Florida. Oh. So congratulations. Congratulations, Rob. Yeah. We'll be sending that your way. Fancy fancy uh Fancy graphics? Fancy graphics. I know. Tammy. Pretty exciting Whoa. stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're stepping it up here. Fresh Cat Friday Live, I'm trying to, you know. Yeah. Just bring conversation. Yeah. Um, and if you're not signed up to our giveaway yet, the link is right there. It's freshcap.link slash Friday. So if you head over there, you can sign up and Definitely. you can win uh, every single week. Somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Congratulations, Rob. What are we giving away next week? So next week, we're going to be giving away the Thrive 6 capsules. Ooh. So yeah, make sure you sign up if you're not signed up. And uh, we will get that off to the winner next week. So excellent. price changes every single week, but it's always awesome. And it's uh, always mushroom powered. Yeah. So. Um, one thing I thought would be fun to talk about this week. Well, first of all, I guess I should do a quick update here. So Great. we did a minor update and probably most of you won't notice, but in case anybody does, um, freshcatmushrooms.com is now blog.freshcatmushrooms.com. And the reason we did this was because, um, freshcatmushrooms.com was mostly a blog. There was mostly just articles and stuff like that. So we switched it to the blog site and our other site shop.freshcatmushrooms.com is where we sell our stuff. That's going to become the main website um in the next week or so so yes. a few minor changes so if you're having trouble finding us those are the domains oh, this way over there where you can find <laughs> us now <laughs> uh blog.freshcatmushrooms.com and shop.freshcatmushrooms.com and then after about a week everything should be smoothed out right hopefully yeah, yeah we'll see we it's a process. Wait. see if google can figure it out yeah so far they haven't oh but that's okay boy. that's okay It'll i think happen. long term it's gonna be better it's gonna yeah. be a better option for everybody so that's just quick housekeeping stuff um so what I really wanted to talk about today was uh, what is a mushroom supplement or mycelium on grain versus fruiting body? Because this is one of those topics that, you know, a lot of people, if um, you don't know that much about mushrooms, you might be interested in using mushrooms as a supplement. Um, you might be super surprised to learn that a lot of mushroom supplements don't really contain any mushrooms. How crazy is that? It's really crazy. And mm -hmm. it's actually pretty sad that uh, some companies <clears throat> will advertise that they are pure mushrooms, but it's in fact... I don't know, 60 to 80 percent grain. Yeah, mostly so, grain, right? Yeah. Cereal grains like brown rice, uh, oats, stuff like that. Um, it's really crazy. And the, the craziest part is most people don't know this. So they might think they're buying mushrooms and really they're buying something that's kind of mostly grain starch. Um, it's always been our ethos to have, you know, only pure fruiting body or actual mushrooms, you know, mushrooms made from mushrooms. Um, but that's not always to get easy to get across in a quick snippet, right? I know mm -hmm. like a lot of people, even if you're interested in mushroom supplements, um, a lot of people won't dive that deep. And this stuff is kind of hard to understand. I mean, for mushroom nerds like us and a mushroom grower, uh, it's kind of easy to understand these things like what uh, grain spawn is, what mycelium on grain is, all that kind of stuff. But uh, for people that are just kind of passively looking, it might not be that um, easy to understand. So we wanted to kind of clear the fog yes. and just kind of explain this stuff. Now, the other thing too, I'll say is that we believe in using whole fruiting body mushrooms, but you know, everybody's different and different things work for different people. So we're yep. just about getting the right information out there. Yeah. So you can make an informed choice of what supplements you want to buy and what works for you is what you should do. Exactly. So, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, and if, if there's any questions in the chat, we're trying some new tech, so I can't see them right now. Oh, right. Um, yeah. So it doesn't look so like we'll have so far. to get back to you on the questions i think yeah. maybe but we will we'll figure yeah, it out we'll, we'll follow, figure it out we'll next figure week. It out. okay so moving along right along here so uh i'm just gonna hide our camera there because it is kind of covering everything else up so 
uh, do a new little transition that should clear. So um, you should be seeing the mushroom life cycle right now. And this is important to understand if you want to understand what mycelium is and what mycelium on grain is. So this is uh, something you might have seen in Bio 101 or Bio 30 in high school, but basically it's a mushroom life cycle. So you can see right at the top, there's a mushroom fruiting body. Um, that's where the spores come from. Uh, the spores will kind of flow through the wind and, and land in some nice area and then they will germinate. So these things called hyphae will be kind of shot out from the spores and each hyphae contains um, exactly half of the genetic material that mushrooms need to grow. So eventually, uh, you know, if two compatible hyphae meet, two become one and it turns into mycelium. Uh, that mycelium is kind of, you can think of it like the roots of the mushroom and it will grow out uh, until it, um, you know, finds an appropriate time to fruit and then it will kind of knot up and you can see that hyphal knot there and that's the start of a mushroom fruiting body. And eventually that's, it'll grow into a full-on fruiting body um, that contains all those beneficial compounds and medicinal mushrooms and just the nutritional compounds in, in you know, edible mushrooms. And it will eventually form a fruiting body uh, where it can create spores and start the whole cycle over again. So the primordia is pre-fruiting body. It'd be like just germinating out of the soil, starting to show. Exactly. And I guess I don't think I have a picture of it, but uh, yeah, for mushroom growers, they might call it a pin or something yes. like that. And you can see a tiny little, um, yeah, basically a tiny little mushroom, which continues to grow. And, you know, mycelium doesn't always have to form mushrooms. It can live under the soil, uh, under the moss. It can, it can grow inside of logs. And it only fruits when it feels like it needs to, when it wants to kind of reproduce. So quite often that happens in the fall because the mycelium will realize, hey, this is a good time to finally get some more spores out there um, and, you know, actually try and uh, reproduce and, and create more of their species. So that's the mushroom life cycle. Why is that important to understand? Well, mushroom growers try to replicate that mushroom life cycle um, and they do that by starting with mycelium and putting that mycelium on grain. So I'm just going to go to the next one here just to show you quickly. And I'm going to bring our video back so we can see ourselves. Transition. So uh, in my hand there, that is a picture of lion's mane grain spawn. So that's lion's mane mycelium is the, the white stuff you can see. And the, the grain, I believe that one was sorghum and millet. Um, it's just a cereal grain. And it's what the mycelium uses for nutrition to continue growing. But in order to actually grow the mushrooms, you need to take that grain spawn and you need to put it into a substrate or something like that to continue it and actually fruit that mushroom. So just quickly to show you the difference here, uh, it's a lion's mane fruiting body and that's the lion's mane grain spawn. So um, yeah, a pretty big difference in, in what it actually is. Yes. Um, and the craziest part is, believe it or not, some supplements are just made from this part, the, the grain spawn, and it's never actually going to the fruiting body, which yeah. is this part. So what they do is they take that grain spawn, they dry it up, they grind it up, and they sell it in a capsule or a powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not even hot water extracted. It's right. just ground up. Right. Old. And yeah. there's a good reason for doing that. It's kind of short circuiting the growing process. Um, yeah, it's a lot quicker to get to that stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, growing mushrooms takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. so, a lot of work, a lot of labor, a lot of cost. Exactly. Yeah. So so there it is. That's the, the difference between, again, lion's mane grain spawn, lion's mane fruiting body. And this would be the same for, you know, any kind of mushroom, basically, except for, uh, well, yeah, pretty much any mushroom. This is, this is how it's grown. You have the grain spawn, and then you have the fruiting body. So another quick couple pictures here you can see uh, this is some rye grain and the mycelium you can see it's working its way across the rye grain so eventually it will completely encapsulate that and then it could be broken up and it will be added to a substrate and here's another picture here you can see on top you have the grain spawn and you can see this is fully a uh, colonized grain spawn and when it's all broken up uh, it's still you can see how much grain is actually in there and the below there is some some hardwood where the mushrooms will eventually grow throughout and here's kind of a close-up of the mycelium working its way across the, across the hardwood um, or the substrate and then here's another picture of what it eventually looks like when it fruits yeah so yeah that's that's a mushroom uh, beautiful mushroom. growing cycle yeah lion's yeah. mane lion's mane incredible yeah one of her favorites yeah the great thing about lion's mane is it's not only a gourmet edible mushroom but it's also a medicinal mushroom it's one of those ones that can be kind of kind of both some mushrooms you don't want to eat because they're kind of gross but lion's mane is really good right yep yeah i agree yeah you've made a good a few good dishes with lion's mane yep um okay so moving on here so this is kind of what i'll just move our video thing here still working on the tech there we go so yeah this is basically what 
the whole reason I wanted to uh, go through that, that mushroom life cycle and the growing process is because some uh, mushroom supplements are actually made from grain spawn. So it's kind of short circuiting the process, not actually growing the mushrooms, but just making the, the grain spawn. Some of them will take it to the primordial stage and say it's an all-inclusive kind of thing with fruiting body, but you're actually just getting those pins. Well, yeah, and that's right? a, that's one of those terms that you, you might hear full spectrum. There you go. Yeah. Uh, which really just kind of means, I mean, if you let a bag of grain spawn sit for long enough, it will form little tiny fruiting bodies because the mushroom's trying to, to trying to fruit. Um, yeah, we probably have some over there. We do. Should I go grab one? Uh, no. I don't know. You can see. No, I don't think so. Because yeah, be they're not fruiting. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... Anyways, yeah, some mushrooms are actually made, some supplements are actually made from grain spawn. Um, and the way that you can tell that is pretty easy to tell. It'll say something like, you know, myceliated grain or mycelial biomass. Um, it could also just say brown rice or oats as, as part of the other ingredients. Um, sometimes in capsules, you'll you'll see like a filler, not a filler, but a flow aid that's made from brown rice, right? Mm -hmm. But um, that's different than mycelium on grain. Um, you could still have full fruiting body mushrooms that use the, the rice as just a flow aid for the capsules. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of stuff you want to look for if you're interested in only getting the fruiting body. You can't just look at the front of the label. you got to look at the back and see if there's any other rice or grain or, or other ingredients like that. And that's it. Okay, that's we're going to the next slide. That's all I want Ooh, to say. Anything else on mycelium on grain? Uh, I think really the big point is just educating yourself. Know what you're buying. Because some people, they maybe they want to buy mycelium on grain. Um, and just figuring out what's right for you and buying what works for you. So, And exactly. uh, I know we've heard from a lot of people and they've used some supplements that are mycelium on grain and they don't really feel anything. And maybe because you need such a larger dose in order to, you know, you have so much grain in there. So to get the benefits from the mycelium, maybe you just need to be taking a lot more. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But, uh, and then they start taking pure fruiting body supplements and they notice a the difference right away. Yeah. So it's pretty amazing. Just depends what works for you, I guess. I think a lot of people are shocked when they kind of first hear this, right? Because it's like, wow, I thought, I thought it was mushrooms. Yeah. It's almost deceiving because you spend so much money on these supplements and to find out what you're buying is just filler mm -hmm. that it's kind of disappointing for some people. Yeah. So. But I think the other point of clarification here is like mycelium by itself is there, it has a lot of beneficial compounds. Yeah. Um, just the pure mycelium. Yeah. But I think that the biggest problem with mycelium on grain is it, it contains so much grain. Mm -hmm. A large percent of grain. And they can't remove it from the processing. So it just ends up in the final product. Mm -hmm. There's no way to separate the mycelium off of it at that point. Now, there is some supplements that will use pure mycelium where they're grown in a liquid culture, kind of in a big vat, and then there's no other There's no grains. Yeah. They can just take that liquid off and use the pure mycelium exactly yeah. and i know like some cordyceps supplements are like that yeah. some other supplements are like that um yeah yeah it's pure mycelium so it's all these fine details that you get it's all the fine details so you just got to read the labels know what you're looking for and figure out what you want to buy exactly yeah and uh if there's any way that we can help uh explain that a little more uh we'd love to if you just google yeah. like mycelial biomass uh that we have an article that comes up somewhere and it kind of goes through this in a little more in depth and shows some more pictures and stuff like that. And I think I got a little video there too. I'm kind of showing the differences. So that is that. Um, we're going to move on. Next week, we are giving away um, some capsules. Yes. And oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, so it's Thrive 6. It's uh, six mushrooms or fruiting body um, that. Maybe check the comments quick. See if. Yeah, can I you could pull check those the up? Comments. I don't know if I can. See if. No, I think oh, we're yet. still good. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is on, on Facebook with the, the graphics and stuff like that. We're going to repost on Instagram. So if you're watching on Instagram, it's no longer live. Uh, but we're going to try and figure out a way to do all three of them at the same time. I don't know if yeah. we can do that. Working on it. Working on it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's the link right below if you want to sign up. Freshcap.link slash Friday. We'll take you to page where you can put in your email address. Let us know your name and you'll be in the draw to win every single week. We love giving away prizes. It's really fun for us. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's what we're going to away next week. Excellent. Yeah. And I think that's it. I think that's it for today. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you're a fellow Canadian, happy long Thanksgiving long weekend. Stay safe. Have fun. Yeah. Eat a lot of stuffing. My favorite part. <laughs>
And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. That is it. And uh, one more thing. If you have any suggestions for stuff, for, like, topics you'd like us to cover about mushrooms or anything like that, uh, let us know because we yes. love putting stuff like this together. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you all next week.